So hello guys, welcome back to Quantity Estimation and Billing Engineers. In today's session, we are going to see how we can calculate the PBS of a raft which is of irregular shape. So as you can see in this drawing, we have a raft which is having something irregular shapes with multiple offsets in between. If we can see the reinforcement details of this raft, the details is provided as 10 mm dia with 100 mm center to center at top and bottom and the depth of this raft is of 350 mm so if we are going to see the reinforcement placement of this raft this will be somewhat like this in this way the x direction reinforcement will be placed and in this way y direction reinforcement will be placed so as you can see the practical difficulty is that the length of each and every reinforcement at each and every section will be different so we can't go by the traditional method of separating our raft into multiple sections to work out with the BBS. So what we will do is we will use our AutoCAD for calculating the BBS. So the very first involved in this calculation is you have to draft this reinforcement in your raft. So how you can draft this reinforcement is you can click on the I button to see the video we have uploaded on how to draft this reinforcement in your flag slabs or in your raft. So after the drafting of the reinforcement what you have to do is you have to simply give a command that is known as data extraction as you can see data extraction we will click on this command so one dialog box will get opened and what we have to select is create a new data extraction now what we will do is we will click on next now first of all we have to save our drawing file which will be saved in the format of .dxe now we will give it some name for example bbs raft and we don't have to do anything with this file which is going to save now so the next step is we have to select objects in the current drawing and just click on this bar which gives you option select objects in the current drawing click on this and select this particular group where we have placed our x direction reinforcement and y direction reinforcement after selecting the objects just press enter so again a dialog box will open that is the same thing now what you have to do is click on next now as you can see only polyline is selected since each and every line selected under this selection was polylines now again click on next now we have been provided with multiple properties of this polylines and we have to select the specific properties which are required for the calculation of our bbs so what we will do is first we will give a right click then we will click on uncheck all now everything is deselected now what we will do is for calculation of the bbs we require the length of bars so we will click on length then we also require layer of the bars because i have specified x direction and y direction in my layers so i will click on this layer now we'll hit next then it is extracting now you can see polyline bottom and top y direction bottom and top top direction this is something list which is extracted now what we will do is we will again click on next now we have to uh, select this option output the data to external file now click on these three buttons and save your file exactly to a location known to you since you are going to use this file now so i am saving this currently on my desktop so i will click on save now again hit next and then finish now it is going to take some time since data is transferring to our excel file so now as you can see this process has been completed so we will switch to our excel working so here we can see our excel has been extracted and i will double click on this now as you can see we have four columns one is count this count gives you the numbers of bar so i will rename it as numbers of bar the second one is name which specifies the type of line whether it is polyline or line we don't require this so i will just delete it now the second one is layers as you can see bottom and top x direction so this reinforcement is in x direction as we will go in the downward direction we will get top x and top y as well so what we have to do is how we can use these data which are extracted so first of all click on this column then go to data tab then select text to columns 
hit next till the point we are completed now just give finish so we have converted this data now just select your complete range of data and apply a filter apply a filter now we have to make selections based of based upon our layers that is bottom and top x direction first we'll take bottom and top x direction i will make a new sheet specifying x direction reinforcement now from this i will select this complete data of bottom and top x direction so this data is selected i will copy it down over here so as we can see number of bars when the length of our bars are same we have been provided with the specific numbers how much time we have this length of bar so there are 81 numbers of bar of length 1413 mm so what how can we calculate the weight of bar from this data is first of all we have to uh, check whether this length is greater than 12 meters or not if it is greater than 12 meters then we have to add one lap as well so what we will do is just give a command round down divide this figure by 12000 and the number of digits should be zero so this become your number of laps so i will give a heading number of laps okay so the next will be our total length this total length will comprise of the length plus number of lap into your lap length so in my case the lap length is 38 times the diameter of bar so as we can uh, so dia of bar is 10 mm in our case as we can see in our drawing as well the reinforcement is of 10 mm so the dia of bar is 10 mm so what we have done is we have added this length plus number of bar into 38 times the diameter now here we will add one more column of weight of bar so how weight of bar will be calculated is first we will convert our length into meters then we will multiply it with number of bars then we will multiply it with unit weight for 10 mm our unit weight is, weight is 0 0.618 per meter we will round it off up to three decimals so here comes our weight of the bar what we will do is we will drag this formula downward So our weight of bar is ready now simply we will add each and every length and give us sum for this so the total weight of our steel is four tons as we can see we have extracted complete data using autocad itself in this way we can calculate the bbs of the raft which are of irregular shapes for your more more exploration works you can work this same method for calculating the reinforcement weight of y direction Hope so you like you have liked this video and if you have liked this video please do like share and subscribe thank you very much